And the Dane picks out an Elka. Fowler far post, so is Foy. Oh, good stop by James, he's lost it. And Brevet has saved a certain goal. Well, that was great bravery, wasn't it, from Robbie Fowler? But really, too easy the way that Nicholas and Elka just comes inside, really does drill this towards the far post. And certainly David James looked as if he had it out of his grasp, but full marks to Rufus Brevet because he didn't give up the situation. And there's Robbie Fowler very nearly losing his head. He's put a space down the right for Anelka and Fowler well placed in the penalty area. Here's Fowler! What a chance, what a chance to Robbie Fowler. He's come very, very close to scoring, hasn't he? But once again, it's that run from Nicholas Anelka, finding that space out wide, doing the damage, and once that ball came into the box, the predatory instincts of Robbie Fowler very nearly converting what is a good, good chance. And Ferdinand will close down Schmeichel, and he's beaten him to it! Oh, oh an amazing miss. Well, Peter Schmeichel's claiming that Les Ferdinand handled the ball. I don't think Ferdinand can do anything about that, because really Schmeichel has just hit it against him. But good foraging by the experienced Les Ferdinand, it does a handball, but really Schmeichel smacks it at him, but what another good chance. And Ferdinand's there again, but he's offside. He's hurt himself in the challenge with Schmeichel. Well, he wasn't a no, and neither was Peter Schmeichel. And full marks to the City goalkeeper, because he was out very, very quickly indeed at the feet of Les Ferdinand. As this ball comes in, it's marginal, but I think it's a correct decision. But both players honestly, genuinely go for the ball at the same time. And this is an important save, really, in many respects, for Peter Schmeichel. But that uh, is a dangerous, dangerous collision, and it looks as if Les Ferdinand has come off a lot worse than the City goalkeeper. Low match with the header. Heads it away, Belmardi in bravely. Cole has it back for West Ham. And it's broken to Jermaine Defoe. And still Defoe. It was a great challenge by Barton. The danger still hasn't passed it, has now. Oh, oh, unbelievable. How did Manchester City manage to keep this out? But great credit must go to Nicholas Jensen. You can see there, he's just edging towards the line. It isn't over. As Cole knocks it in. Oh. Precious goal for West Ham United. Their Premiership hopes are still alive. A bizarre goal in a game that has had so many chances. Well, we thought it would never come, did we, really? And City go to sleep, really. The initial ball, the initial corner, they haven't defended particularly well because it goes to Joe Cole. And they don't defend particularly well and it comes into the box, but Don Hutchinson thinks he scored, it comes out, and Canude on the line has the simplest of tasks to put that ball home. But absolutely incredible scenes we've seen from the West Ham fans, the caretaker manager, the coaching staff, the players. It's all beginning to get a little bit exciting now. We're into the dying seconds at Main Road. There's the final whistle. West Ham United are clinging on. Freddie Canute has scored the most important goal of his Upton Park career, and Trevor Brookings' managerial debut has ended 